This camp will be all about polygons, so you will need several of those. You can probably use things you have around the house as templates. Some polygons can be challenging though. We are providing you also with a printable set of templates. If you don't have a printer, you can also copy them from the screen. Nevertheless, we want to show you how to trace your own regular polygons, of any size you want, in case you need to. This might make more sense after you've seen the first Monday video. But for now, we will use this table which tells us what is the measure of the angles of every regular polygon. Remember that a regular polygon has all the sides of the same length and all angles of the same measure. So we want to trace a shape, a shape that does just that. You will need a protractor and a ruler. You're probably familiar with this method for squares. We'll start by tracing a line of the, of the size that you want. I'm going to use 2 inches. Then I want to mark an angle of 90 degrees, because we know squares have angles of 90 degrees. I set my protector and mark the 90 degrees on both ends of the line. I then join the ends of the segment with the marks that I just made for the angles. And now measure 2 inches on each side because that's the length that we want. And finally, join those two marks together. And there's my square. I can erase the ends that are no longer going to be used. I can follow the same process with all other polygons. For example, a triangle has angles of 60 degrees. So I start by drawing my segment of 2 inches or whatever length you want. Then I'm going to measure a 60 degree angle. on both ends of the line. And then again, I'm going to join the ends. Be very careful that you're actually joining the end with the corresponding mark. So when I measure the angle on this end, I made these marks. So those are the ones that I have to join. and then on the other side. That is actually automatically going to give us two inches. So two inches here and two inches there. But we can also do that for all the other polygons. Let's try a hexagon first. Again, two inches, and hexagons have angles of 120 degrees, so that's what I'm going to measure in here. Again, I set up my protector on one on end of the line that I drew and mark 120. On each side. Then I join the ends with the marks that I made. And make sure that these are two inches. These are not going to be, so I'm just going to measure two inches and make a mark where the two inches end. And now I'm going to repeat the process on the new line, on the new sides. So this is going to be one side of the hexagon, this is another one, and this is another one. So now I move to one of the two new sides and repeat the same process. Only this time I'm only going to make it on one side because I already have a side 
on the other end of the segment. So again, 120 degrees. Join the end of the segment with my mark and measure two inches. Now I can go to this other end that I have in here or this one, whichever you want to do first, it's the same. Make a mark at the two inches length. And now we could actually just join these two ends. And there you go. So all the other polygons are going to follow the same process. So let's try a pentagon now. Again, I'm going to start by marking a side. Again, two inches, but remember that you can do any length that you want. And now the angle for the pentagon is 108. So I place my protector here and I'm going to mark 108 degrees on each end of the line. Just a note about protectors. You might have noticed while we were drawing the polygons. So I'm going to trace a segment in here of any given length, just as an example. When I'm measuring angles to this side, so like this angle is 108. So I'm going to measure it towards this side. I have to look 108 on this side. So 108 measuring towards this side will go all the way here with the numbers that are like sort of in the inner circle. Whereas if I'm measuring on the other side, then I want the angle to be measured from here because it is this angle. And so I'm looking for 108 on this side. So now I'm looking at the outer numbers. So just be mindful of that and remember that you are you want to measure the angle towards here on this side and towards here on this side and use the inner or the outer numbers accordingly. <laughs> 